How are you, besties? This is war. <laughs> Hi guys. Hey besties, it's Ghoul97. <laughs> I'm just uh walking to a I'm just walking to a gas station to buy myself a can of Coke. No, I mean Coca-Cola. It's a little chilly outside, but not too much. Looks like it's gonna rain. You know? Looks like it's gonna rain, so I better go quick. <laughs> I thought now would be a great time. It'd be a perfect time to uh, take a little walk, you know? <laughs> Gotta do a little exercise, am I right? I'll be safe as long as I wear this face mask. <laughs> well, lately I've been playing some Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat Armageddon on my PS2. <laughs> I made my own custom fighters that I plan to record on VHS tapes. <laughs> I made some of my own custom fighters that I plan to record on VHS. <laughs> I plan to record on VHS tapes for my friends. <laughs> for my friends Fearless Badass and <laughs> and Brony78. <laughs> yeah. I have some real life friends that we still use, yes, we still use VHS tapes. We still use VHS tapes because <laughs> VHS tapes hold a special place in our hearts. And if you haven't ever if you haven't ever used a VHS tape, if you if you never if you never recorded anything on a VHS tape, I recommend you do that at least once in your life. You'll love the experience. Trust me, you'll love the experience of recording something on a VHS tape. Whether it be through those old camcorders, whether it be through those old camcorders or Hooking a game console up to your VCR up to a VCR and recording it there. Of course, you had to pop in a, a tape in there, a VHS tape to be exact, <laughs> into that VCR and hit record while you play video games. Hey, <laughs> for any of my uh, subscriber, anyone who's watching this, I'd highly recommend you use a composite HDMI adapter to hold to put your <laughs> to hook up. To hook up your Nintendo Switch or PS4 or Xbox One or PS5 or any newer consoles, <laughs> you might need to use a uh, composite HDMI adapter so you can <laughs> record some online gaming on VHS. Trust me, you'll love that experience. You'll love that experience, and your friends, <laughs> you're gonna love the experience. You should try a VA using VHS at least once in your life. Yeah. <laughs> I heard VHS is coming back, so I do plan on uh, buying a few more VCRs. Hey, what's up, guys? Gloomy7. We're gonna play some Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies. That's right, we're playing a classic today. Yeah. Oh, can't have this. Can't have this uh, video. Can't play the Xbox game without an Xbox hat. Yeah. Oh, and I guess uh, you might as well, uh, might as well take the picture of me, might as well take a screenshot of me, uh, in this pose, so you could turn into a meme later. Got it? Okay, good, let's get on with the game. Let's get with the game. Let's get to the game already. <laughs> yeah, see this? You see what I'm referencing? Comment down below if you, if, you, if you think you know what game I'm referencing. I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. It's an online game by, by Rockstar Games. Wow, we're talking. Calm down, dude. This game's a classic. <laughs> yeah, could you believe this game's over 11 years old now? Yeah, I was in middle school when this game came out. <laughs> yeah, I was like in 8th grade. 
told you. <laughs> I was like in, I was in eighth grade when this game came out. <laughs> yeah, that was 11 years ago. Could you believe it? 11 years. Could you believe that's 11 years ago? 11 years. Looking crazy, right? <laughs> Oh, of course, I know there's going to be some people who are going to want to download this video and put it on their hard drive, so... <laughs> <laughs> Might as well take this opportunity to give you some advice. If you're going to download this video and put it on your hard drive, I would highly recommend you would, uh, you would also burn this video on a CD or a DVD or a Blu-ray disc. Or, if you really want to... Or if you really want to go... If you really want to... If you really want to go all out, put it on... Put it on one of these. In case you don't know what that is, it's a VHS tape. <laughs> yeah, this video would look good on a VHS tape. Trust me. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that can get. get, 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 get maybe you can. You can. Yeah. Maybe next time, if you ever, you could probably. Um. Uh, you could probably, if you, if you somehow get this video put on a VHS tape, <laughs> you could probably impress your boomer grandparents or great grandparents or even just your parents or aunts and uncles. Any of your boomer relatives, you could probably you could probably impress your boomer and Gen X relatives by by freaking playing this video uh, on a V on a VHS tape. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, you could watch their jaws drop. Yeah, you'd be watching. You could watch their jaws drop. Like what? They'd be like, oh my god, what is wow? <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, back to the game. All right, back to the game. To the game. To the game. To the game. 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 To the game. 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 Biscuits. I guess it's been a while. It's kind of been a while. <laughs> oh my god, this is the Japanese guy. It's my favorite character. I keep forgetting his name. I'm sorry, I suck at names. I kind of suck at names. I suck at memory names. <laughs> Come on. Well, <coughs> you know you won't be you won't believe the farthest I ever made on this. Uh, freaking the far the freaking farthest I ever made in this game was like <coughs> I think like freaking fifteen rounds, or was it thirteen rounds? I think it was somewhere between twelve to fifteen rounds. <coughs> I don't remember the exact number, but I think it was somewhere freaking. <coughs> yeah, I think it was somewhere between 12 to 15 rounds. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Hopefully this time I'll get enough fucking points to get a damn pack a punch. To get myself a pack a punch. <coughs> yes, they have pack a punch in this game. <coughs> Yeah, back when uh, Magic Hats lived here. <coughs> back when Magic lived here. <coughs> he let me play his freaking PS4, and I loved playing Minecraft and freaking Call of Duty, freaking Cold War. <coughs> <coughs> of course, I had to freaking play when he. I sometimes had to play when he was at work, because <coughs> every time I asked to hang out with him, he would always either tell me to fuck off or freaking. Uh, or call me negative for no reason other than I have autism. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my younger brother and his friends aren't exactly, my younger brother and his, most of his so-called friends are not very tolerant towards disabled individuals. They got issues. They have issues. Yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do, am I right? Eh, what are you gonna do? But then again, so many people divide themselves. But then again, people in this country, people in these in these Western countries, divide themselves by their race, their gender, their this, their that. So, so ableism is kind of be so ableism is to be expected at this point. Yeah, then again, there are people who freaking who freaking like to judge others for being straight or white or gay or male or women or you know all that other or vice versa. So, 
So people being so people being uh, judgmental towards autistic people is to be expected at this point. <coughs> God, I wish I lived in freaking Vietnam. This woke, this freaking woke P.O.L. culture would never doesn't would not be in Viet would not fly in Vietnam. <coughs> Man, all this dividing themselves, people dividing themselves would never be tolerated in Vietnam. God, I wish I lived in Vietnam. <coughs> I heard autistic people are actually, I heard people, I heard Vietnam is actually accepting of autistic people, and they're accepting of gay people now. So yeah, and there's a lot, and, and a lot of nerdy stuff happened, to, there's a lot of nerdy stuff in Vietnam. It's like a dream come true. That country's like a dream come true. It's like a dream come true. I heard in Vietnam they actually accept LGBT people there now. Yeah, true story. Of course, that's what I've seen on Facebook. Yes, I still use Facebook. Yes, I use Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I heard autistic people are actually very accepted in Vietnam. So yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna kill some of these zombies. Stab. some good ends to kill.
shank. Time when I was a kid, I went to camp and <coughs> I went to camp and well, <coughs> one of my old one of my old high school classmates I went to camp with, uh, you know, <laughs> he did a little. I'm not gonna name any names, but <coughs> <coughs> it was during freaking one night where he was uh, whatever. Some other guys went up to go to the bathroom. <coughs> <coughs> he had a little erection. He had a it had a little a kind of erection. It uh, seemed kind of big. It kind of looked like a big tent in his pants. And he was uh, pointing his man part. He was pointing his uh, pinch tent <laughs> at other guys and chasing them. It was messed up. Which is why I had a hold. I didn't. I, which is why I couldn't go to the bathroom for that night. So. <coughs> <coughs> which is why I had to. Even though I had piss, I had to wait. All night, cause I he would have chased me too. It was fucked up, man. <laughs> regardless of sexuality, it's still regardless of sexual preference. It's it's still not good to freaking uh, chase people with uh, your private parts. <laughs> it's not good to point your private parts at other people and chase them with it without their consent. <laughs> <coughs> it was at the point where freaking other campers, <coughs> or mainly where all the male campers had to freaking uh, go to, had to freaking, had to freak, were trying to freaking open the door that, that leads the outside, even though there was a sign that does that prohibits people from freaking prohi prohibits campers from opening that door. <coughs> <coughs> but they tried to do anyway, and they were I I heard overheard them being uh, yelled at for it <coughs> for trying to fucking open the door. <coughs> They were trying to explain that, she was, that they were being chased. But they are being chased by that person with a pinched tent. <coughs> I don't know what the camp counselors did about it that night. <coughs> but it seemed like they were more focused on the camper trying to open that door when they were told not to. Rather than the fact they were chased. <coughs> but then again, I don't know the full story. But then again, I don't know the full story. I don't know the full story, so don't shoot the messenger. <coughs> but then again, I don't know. It's unclear if... It's unclear if that particular camper was also scolded at about freaking chasing other guys with a pinched tent, or or was or whether he was he just left alone. <coughs> it's unclear if, if he was or not, because I wasn't really there. I was <coughs> I was mostly asleep. I was mostly asleep by then, so <coughs> <coughs> so I don't know for sure. So yeah. Again, I'm not going to name names, and I'm not forming any bias, I'm just, just, uh, just thought I'd share what, <coughs> what happened that one time, because it just popped in my mind, you know, I don't have scripts for my videos, <coughs> I'm just all me, just, I'm a real person. I'm as real as you, as real can be. I'm as real as real can get. <coughs> I'm as real as real as real can get without doxing myself or others. I'm as real as I can get. I'm, I'm I'm as real as anybody can get without doxing myself or others. Yeah, there's a difference between fucking being honest. There's a difference between honesty. And freaking divulging every detail, <coughs> like you know, kind of like Christian. You know, I am not. I, I am. You know, kind of like how uh, Christian thinks honesty is divulging a detail, right? And no, I will never make a video on Christian. And no, I will never make a this. I will never make a Christian. And no, I will never make a Christian video. Last night I made a little, uh, I made a little mix CD. <coughs> 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 
I made a little fucking uh, mix CD. <coughs> I made a little mix CD with some K-pop, with some K-pop and some Europop. <coughs> I am uh, had a mix, made a mix CD full of K-pop and Europop. <coughs> <coughs> And they also freaking download some voice clips from some by, from some Twitter user. Not gonna I'm not gonna say who they are. <coughs> by some Twitter user. Not gonna say who they are. I'm just gonna say that they are a bad person that they are a bad person <coughs> who says awful things. That's all I'm gonna they were just a bad person who said awful things and is a narcissist. That's all I'm gonna say. <coughs> that's all I'm going but that's all I'm gonna say about it. <coughs> So, <clears throat> I kind of download their voice clips and freaking put on that CD. <clears throat> <clears throat> I put it on that CD full of K-pop and Europop. Why did I do it? I was bored. Why did I make that CD? I was bored. Well, the reason why? I was bored. Yeah, I was bored, so I made that CD. Yeah, <clears throat> have you guys seen that video with Dylan Th that Dylan Thomas made? <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, I'm subscribed to Dylan Thomas. And if Dylan Thomas, you're watching this, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? I'm a huge fan. Yeah, if Dylan and his GF Taylor are watching this, what's up? I'm a huge fan. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I see one of his freaking video. I see one of Dylan Thomas's videos with his <clears throat> with this crazy guy named SSG3, who uh, you know. <clears throat> Uh, long story short, this guy, this guy was freaking, uh, sharing, was talking inappropriate with minors, and, uh, and he freaking, and he said the, and he said he was, and he tried to, and he tried to say he was actually possessed by a ghost. Yeah. That guy, that's some guy. <coughs> he talked inappropriate with minors. <coughs> he shared inappropriate contact with minors, and he tried to freaking excuse, he tried to make it, he tried to excuse it by freaking saying he was possessed by a ghost. I know, it's that fucking dumb. <laughs> of course, that's just the abridged version. What I what I just said is just the abridged version. <clears throat> if you want the full context, go freaking watch the videos by freaking uh, Dylan Thomas. <clears throat> of course, freaking SSG3 says if anybody freaking talks about, anyone freaking talks about what he did, he's gonna freaking copyright strike them, even though he's worded, worded to where he can say that he didn't say that. Yeah, he indirectly said that he's gonna freaking strike anybody who talks about who talks about the the horrible the pedophilic things he did. I guess since I kind of meant briefly since I mentioned it since I randomly mentioned it, I guess I'm gonna get striked now. I guess I'm gonna get demonetized even though I'm not even monetized. Nor do I plan to get monetized. <coughs> of course, I don't think SSG3 is gonna even notice me since. I barely mentioned, since this is the only, this is the first and only time I ever mentioned, <coughs> this is the first time I mentioned him, and this is the only time I plan to mention him. <coughs> Plus I'm a small YouTuber, so I don't think he's going to notice me, and I hope I do, I hope he doesn't. Alright, that's enough. <coughs> and, you know, I'm kind of hyped for Rogue Internet Man, yes, I'm also... <coughs> I'm also subscribed to, I'm also subscribed to Rogue Internet Man. I'm subscribed to a few big YouTubers, cause you know. <coughs> I'm subscribed to freaking a Rogue Internet Man. <coughs> He's planning on freaking having a new quickie reading, and well, I'm kind of hyped to that. Yeah, I'm one of the many. You know how there's many people who freaking uh, <coughs> who mainly watches Rogue's content for the quickie readings. Well, I'm one of those. I'm one of those people who freaking uh, who mainly watch Rogue Internet Man's freaking quickie readings. And Rogue Internet Man, if you're watching this, what's up, bro? I'm also subscribed to Dumbsville as well. And if you got if any of those big YouTubers I mentioned are watching this, what's up? What's up, everybody? I say what's up. I'm a huge fan.
And Hunter Avalone, if you're watching this, hey man, what's up, bro? I'm glad you left the right. I used to be like, I used to be part of, the, I used to be part of the left. I used to be part of, I actually used to be part of the left until I read 1984 by George Orwell. So yeah, me and Hunter Avalone are a lot alike. He used to be part of the, he used to be part of the right. I used to be part of the left. Yeah, I actually used to be an SJW. I actually be, I actually used to be an SJW like those freaking. I used to be like the SJW, like those freaks I used to rant about. I used to be just like the people I used to rant about. Yeah. True story. I actually was one of those self-hating white people. And I actually was one of those... I actually was one of those self-hating white men. <laughs> that was back when I was middle school. The reason why I snapped out of it... How do I snap... How did I snap out of it? I read 1984 by George Orwell. <coughs> you know that freaking Humpty Dumpty nursery rhyme saying all the king horse horses and all the king's men? Well, couldn't put them back together again? Well, that was kind of like my situation. I was basically Humpty Dumpty when it comes to being SGW. <coughs> my parents, my relatives try to snap me, try to snap me out of this freaking woke culture. Nobody can put me back together. <coughs> But until I read 1984 by George Orwell, and ever since then, I've been a centrist ever since. <coughs> Speaking of Humpty Dumpty, you know, have you noticed that <coughs> that people tend to think that Humpty Dumpty's an egg? But nowhere in the nursery rhyme actually said that Humpty Dumpty was an egg. Yeah, true story. <coughs> Did you know, however, it's most likely that freaking Humpty Dumpty was actually a cannon, <coughs> was not an egg, not even a, 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 a he, or a she, or anything. <coughs> Humpty Dumpty was actually a cannon, yeah. Yeah, Humpty Dumpty was not an egg, it was a cannon. Humpty Dumpty was a cannon. <coughs> <coughs> that was freaking sat, sat in a freaking Great Wall during the English Civil War. <coughs> But the freaking cannon fell. But the cannon fell off the freaking Great Wall. <coughs> <coughs> and none of the king's horses or the king's men could freaking put him back together again because Humpty Dumpty was too heavy. Because Humpty was way too heavy to be used again. <coughs> <coughs> kind of be freaking, kind of be a freaking expected because freaking it's a cannon. Because cannons are not known for being lightweight. Because cannons are pretty heavy. Because cannons are very heavy. <coughs> <laughs> I guess you could say that Humpty Dumpty was kind of a shot out of a cannon. <laughs> Get it? Because he was cannon. Yeah, <coughs> I'm just an internet troll and a uh, and a freaking shit poster. <coughs> Nothing special. Of course, I don't troll Christian because uh, <coughs> because freaking it's uh, not a good. I don't because trust me, you do not want to troll Christian. You'll end up getting trolled yourself. <coughs> you don't want to be part of history. Yo, know, like Dylan Thomas says, it's best to do your own freaking. Yeah, Dylan Thomas and freaking Roger Man. <coughs> Say it's freaking best to uh, not try to be part of Christory. Do your own thing, and that's I took that advice. And well, I took that advice. Do my own thing. I took that advice. I decided to be, do my own thing. I do my own thing. Not be part of Christory, because <coughs> it'll do more harm than good. <coughs> it most likely will do more harm than good. <coughs> Just do your own thing. 
I'll do my own, that's why I do my own thing. That's why I never make a video on Christian. I, I always do my own thing, man. <coughs> I do my own thing. That's the way, that's the way I roll. Because it's the way I roll. I don't nuts to what these freaking lefties and righties have to say. <laughs> freaking, they're all just a bunch of neurotypicals anyway. Well, most if not all. Biscuits. Not saying all neurotypicals are a bunch of statists, but all statists, most statists, if not all, are neurotypicals. Fursuiter be would a female fursuiter like to date a femboy? I'm asking for a friend. Uh, asking for a friend. Definitely asking for a friend. Does a guy Dahlia like younger feminine guys? Asking for a friend. I'm asking for a friend. Holy biscuits! Holy biscuits. Oh boy, double points for a ghoul whip. <laughs> well, in this case, you kind of do need a weapon because these zombies don't hold back. I used to never be able to freaking get them all in time. <clears throat> but then again, that was back when I was in. That was back when I first got into the game. <clears throat> now I'm more experienced. I'm more of an experienced gamer. Experienced with video games. <clears throat> you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm subscribed to a few, a few awesome VTubers, <laughs> like uh, Gora, like Grora. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing those words wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing those names wrong. Uh, Sharky Lolly. <laughs> I'm uh, one of her subscribers because uh, she's adorable. <laughs> yeah, Ravioli, Ravioli, don't lose the Sharky Lolly. I wonder, should I become a VTuber? <laughs> Should I make myself? Should I become a VTuber? Let me know. Oh, that was such. Fucking, they came out of nowhere. 
Let me know in the comment section down below if I should become a VTuber. Yeah, let me know down in the comment section down below if I should become a VTuber. <laughs> should I make my own character into a VTuber? Like, uh, I have my OC. I have an. I have my OC who. I have an OC named uh, Shoto Shogani. He's a femboy vampire. Basically, he's my SAO. He's my SAO OC. <coughs> <coughs> since uh <coughs> since I did create that character in uh in in that awesome game SAO Fatal Bullet <coughs> in SAO Fatal Bullet <coughs> Yeah my OC uh named Shoka Shogani he's a uh, fucking <coughs> my he's a femboy vampire I wonder if I ever make a v if I ever create a VTuber, I wonder if I can make if he could be my be the VTuber. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section if I should if I should uh, make my OC into a VTuber or make myself. If I should Let me know in the comment section down below if I should become a VTuber. And uh, and if I do, should I make myself into a VTuber or my OC into a VTuber? Let me know in the comment section down below if I should make myself or my OC into a VTuber. I did sometimes I did consider starting OnlyFans. <laughs> I probably won't do anything if I do start an OnlyFans, I probably won't do anything sexual. I'll probably mainly do some uh, cross dressing cosplay stuff. I'll probably mainly do a cos cute cosplay. <laughs> probably won't do anything pornographic. Probably just mainly do like a uh, cosplay. Maybe I cosplay both male and female characters. <laughs> Where I could probably cosplay both my favorite male and female characters. <laughs> <clears throat> like main shape trainer red from Pokemon. You know, if I start cosplaying, let me know in the comment section below if I should cosplay as, as uh, trainer red from po trainer gold or I'm still deciding between two. Should I, should I cosplay as Sailor Uranus or or freaking uh or trainer gold Sailor Uranus from Sailor Moon or or trainer gold from Pokemon? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section down below if I should cosplay as either Trainer Gold or Sailor Uranus. I'm still, I'm still, I'm probably considering becoming a VTuber. Probably, make, probably make myself or my OC into a VTuber. <laughs> and also let me know in the comment section down below if I should start a Twitch channel. Should I start should I start a Twitch channel? Let me know in the comment section down below if I should start my own Twitch. If I should start Twitch Twitch scream streaming. Why I why I almost say screaming. Twitch screaming, yeah, that's what I'll do. <laughs> Yeah, what should I should I be a VTuber or a Twitch streamer? I mean Twitch streamer. Okay, why did I say streamer? Okay, I'll try this again. Should I let me know in the comment section down below if I should be if I should be a Twitch streamer or a VTuber? Yeah. <laughs> 
Twitch streamer. <laughs> What's a Twitch streamer? <laughs> What's a Twitch streamer? <laughs> Okay, I just got, I got the giggles. <laughs> I just threw two grenades. Lots of waste. Well, I still I I killed zombies. Ooh, two grenades, twice the killing power. <laughs> stabby, stabby, Mr. Stabby. <laughs> Meet Mr. Stabby. Here, eat eat lead, monster. Did I just make a annoying orange reference? This uh, lab grown meat thing. <coughs> <coughs> like freaking meat that's grown in the laboratory. <coughs> Made from animal cells with you can where you can get meat without freaking killing animals. <coughs> <coughs> My personal opinion on lab grown meat, I think it's pretty awesome. Yeah, where you can you can be able to get some steaks and burgers and chicken nuggets without having to kill animals. It's a win-win, man. And plus <coughs> I mean yeah. Being able to eat some good fruity burgers and steak and other good stuff <coughs> without having to kill animals. That's actually pretty that's actually it's actually pretty awesome, man. I say go I say go for it. I say that's awesome. <coughs> I say go for it. <coughs> and of course, uh <coughs> Some people may ask, would you freaking, some people will ask, would you freaking eat a, would you be, would you, would you eat a steak or a burger that's, that's given to you by a scientist and a lab coach? I say, hell yeah I would, that'd be freaking awesome. I mean, that sounds like a good idea for a restaurant. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea for a restaurant. Eating burgers and steaks that's given to you by waiters or waitresses and lab coats. <laughs> that would be, that would be a freaking awesome restaurant idea. <laughs> Your waiter or waitress would be in a lab coat. Would be would be in a lab would wear a lab coat and dress like a scientist. That would be freaking awesome. Wouldn't don't you think? I'm sure there might be restaurants like that already. I'm sure there might be restaurants like that already. Probably in Japan. Probably in Japan. I know Japan has a lot of cool stuff, man. I would love to visit Japan one day. Put, then again, I also would love to visit I mean South Korea. I would love to visit South Korea. Mainly because I like BTS. Yes, I do like K-pop. Yes, I love K-pop and anime. I'm a huge K-pop fan. <laughs> I'm a fresh, I'm especially a huge fan of BTS. Yes, I love BTS. And 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 for, and for your information, and for those who want to know, uh, my bias is J-Hope, because he's awesome. He's an awesome South Korean rapper. <laughs> he's the best. Yeah. That's why a couple times when I got my hair cut, I got my hairstyle at J-Hope. <coughs> it's just too bad no one around my area noticed that I got that my hair looked like J-Hope. Probably not a lot of BTS fans here. 
where I live. I hear some people look at me, probably because I don't know if they noticed. I don't know if they freaking noticed my hair looked like J-Hope, <coughs> or probably because recently, as of recently, I've been wearing my Xbox and my PlayStation hat a lot. I often wear my Xbox and PlayStation hat when I go somewhere because I like my hats. I like my Xbox and PlayStation hats. Biscuits. Okay, okay, old golden need to get a quick grab. Ah! Biscuits! Well, if you guys like the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Calling all trolls! Calling all trolls! You are at, we are at war! This is war! Or maybe your new game, or somewhere to a newer game console, using an HDMI composite adapter. <laughs> yeah, I'd highly recommend. I highly recommend doing that. Yo, know, for your PS4, or Xbox One, or Nintendo Switch, or any other newer game console there is out there, use an HDMI composite adapter to hook up to your VCR. <laughs> so maybe you could even record online gaming, or hook up to your smart TV so you can uh, record internet videos or internet streaming on VHS. <laughs> That would be pretty cool, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe that could that could probably impress your boomer your boomer grandparents. <laughs> yeah, maybe next time you go to your, your family gathering at your grandparents or great grandparents' house, <laughs> show them a v, show them a VHS tape you recorded of your online gaming. That would really blow everyone's minds. That would pretty much blow everybody's minds. You know what I'm saying? Coca-Cola. <laughs> of course, I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna record my game consoles on VHS, <clears throat> and probably once I get a smart TV, I probably, my mom said I can, <laughs> my mom said she'll help me look for the v, the hookup to my VCR, <clears throat> so I can hook up, so I can hook up the VCR to my smart TV. <clears throat> That is if I ever get a smart TV. I'll hook my VCR up to there. Maybe I could record some good stuff, some good internet videos on my, on VHS for me and my friends to watch. <laughs> that cause I almost, <laughs> but I am almost, but I am mainly planning on getting a Super Nintendo with a Super Game Boy peripheral. <laughs> so me and my friends can record ourselves through the Game Boy camera on VHS. <laughs> That's something some kids in the 90s did. <laughs> they hook up the Super Nintendo to a VCR and put the Game Boy Super Game Boy peripheral with a Game Boy camera in it and recorded <coughs> and record themselves through the Game Boy camera onto the VHS. I know it seems kind of primitive nowadays. It seems kind of primitive, but back in the 90s, that was really that was you felt like you were. Yeah, these days it seems kind of primitive, but back then you'd be like Hacker Man, you know. That's how you feel like. <laughs> So again, I highly recommend that y'all use a VHS tape at least once in your life. You'll love the experience of VHS. I know I have all my life. I still, again, me and my friends still use VHS tapes despite it being 2021. Yeah, besties, you'll, you'll love it. Well, hope you guys like this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Peace.